Okay, guys, we are back in Tinkercad, and we are still working on our 2-bit adder. Uh, I went ahead and got started with the build, just so that this video wasn't too long. Um, so I want to take some time to point some things out. Uh, first, notice that I did rename the circuit. It's now called 2-bit adder circuits Woodward. Uh, so please always rename your circuit so that I can find it and grade it properly. Second, you can see I already did uh, quite a bit of the work. We have two buttons out. Those represent our two inputs, A and B. Uh, and we also have three chips. We have a 7404, which is a not. We have a 7408, which is an and. We have a 7432, which is an or. And I went ahead and added two notations up at the top that you guys can see here. Just a reminder that the green LED is our carry out, and it is equal to AB. Our red LED is the sum, and it is equivalent to not AB or A not B. Now, if you watched the last video, you might be a little confused right now, uh, thinking to yourself that there's an easier way to do this, or at least that I told you there was an easier way to do this. And you're absolutely right. There is an easier way to do this. There is an easier way to build this. Uh, but I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate today the slightly trickier version uh, to build. Now you'll notice that I already have uh, my green LED, my carry out, already wired together. Uh, this orange wire connects button A to my 7408 right here and you can see that's input 4a my yellow wire connects from button b to input 4b and then this green wire is my output and it runs over to the bent side the anode of my green led you'll notice that the straight side my cathode has a wire that runs to a resistor and then to ground so the green LED is already built out, and to be honest, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, our red wire is what's, uh, not our red wire, our red LED is what's going to be a little trickier. Um, and it's because of these knots that we have to deal with. We have to deal with not A and B. So let's go ahead and start building that. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need is not A, and that's where our 7404 comes in. Okay, remember for a 7401, it only has uh, one input for every output. So if I were to run A into here, and again, because I like color coding, I'm going to make every A orange. If A is the input, the output is going to be not A. So I'm going to carry not A over here to the beginning of my 7408 and since it's not a i don't know what not orange would be maybe we'll choose its complement we'll choose purple so we have a coming in and then we have not a coming out of the 7404 and it's the first input into the 7408 so now if we take our yellow wire and we run it to B we have our purple which is not a we have our yellow which is B so the output of this is not a B unfortunately we're not done yet and that's only the first half of the equation and you see right here uh, we have a plus sign and that's an or gate so we're going to take this answer right here and we're going to run it right here to the beginning of our or gate and boy we're running out of colors but we can go ahead and call that uh, turquoise I guess now for the second piece we need a not B so a is simple enough it just needs to be our orange wire so we can go ahead and grab right here 
and connect it all the way over to A. And since it is A, I'll change it back to orange. But the second input here needs to be not B. And how are we going to get a not B? Well, we have to run a B. in here and since that's b it will be yellow that runs into input 2 so output 2 is going to be not b let's see what should we have be the opposite there that will need to run right here and let's see the opposite of yellow we'll just say is i don't know pink so now we have our input 2a you guys can see is this orange wire a input 2b is this pink wire it's not b so that means the output is going to be a not b so we can run that in to our 7432 and boy now we're really running out of colors we'll make that one a nice sharp blue and so notice coming into our 32 which is an or so we have our turquoise which is not a b and then our other input is our blue our a not b and now we want to take that as an output and we will run that all the way up here to our red LED. And you'll see I still have another black wire here carrying uh, to ground. So now let's go ahead and test it. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0. We're doing good so far. 1 plus zero you guys can see the green led stays off the red led turns on awesome that's zero one we can try again again zero plus one is green led is off red led is on perfect that's zero one and now our last test if i use shift to hold down both buttons you'll see the red light turns off the green light turns on. That's awesome because that represents 1 plus 1 equaling 1, 0. So there you have it, a completed 2-bit uh, adder. Now again, there is an easier way to do this. Uh, so consult the last video, consult your project notebook, uh, but either way works. So I look forward to grading your project.